where I also show a tangent line at several points on the surface to illustrate the meaning of a directional derivative. The directional derivative, denoted by this notation here, represents the rate of change of the function in the direction of the unit vector u. This is also the slope of the tangent line in the direction of the unit vector u. To show the tangent lines to the surface, we will use the 3D Calc Plotter JavaScript app, which is from the Exploring Multivariable Calculus site. Let's open up the app. When the app is first opened, this is always the surface that is shown, which is given by the function here on the left. And this is the function we want to use to show the meaning of a directional derivative. But to emphasize that 7xy is in the numerator, let's place parentheses around the 7xy. If we press graph, the surface doesn't change because this function is equivalent. Next, let's make the surface transparent so we can see through the surface. We do this by clicking the magnifying glass here at the top. Now we click this button here, which is the show hide 2D trace plane. Next, we click the arrow to the right, which brings up this drop down menu. And we select show directional derivative trace, which is here. This green unit vector in the trace plane is the directional vector. Before we animate the tangent line along the surface in this direction, let's rotate the xy plane of our graph so it's oriented in a similar way as this trace plane. So we'll move the positive x-axis to the right and the positive y-axis upward or back. Let's say approximately here. And now we select a point on the surface by clicking on a point in the trace plane let's say this point here. Notice when we do this, a red vector appears. This is a gradient vector, which remember points in the direction of maximum increase of the function. So if we change our view of the surface for a moment, this black line is tangent to the surface in the direction of the green unit vector, and this red curve along the surface is where a plane parallel to the directional vector would cut or slice the surface. So looking at the black tangent line, notice how if we move in the direction of the green unit vector, the line is slanted upward, which means the directional derivative is positive at this point, which means the function is increasing in this direction at this point. And now let's animate this blue point across the surface. Again, the slope of the black tangent line is the value of the directional derivative at that point. And now we can change the direction of the tangent line by entering a specific angle here for theta or using this slider. If we move the slider, notice how the green unit vector changes direction. And again, we can stop at any time and animate the blue point across the surface, which will show the tangent line in the direction of the green unit vector at that point. And again, the red vector is a gradient vector which points in the direction in which the function would increase the most from the blue point. For example, if we stop, let's say, right here, if we were at this blue point on the surface and we wanted to move in the direction of maximum increase, we want to walk toward this peak, which is a direction of the red gradient vector. But again, the main point of this video is to show the slope of this black tangent line is the value of the directional derivative in the direction of the green unit vector. Now if we did want to change the function and show a different surface, we would just enter it here and then press enter or click graph. I hope you found this helpful.